Good morning, everybody. This is Todd with the Forex Nitty Gritty Insiders Daily Video. Hope you had a fantastic weekend, and uh, hopefully the market's treating you well. We've been uh, up and running for about 14 hours, 15 hours now. The uh, markets have been a little bit of movement, a little bit of a small gap maybe on some of these at the, at the beginning. But overall, not uh, a tremendous amount of movements. Um, you know, whenever we look at trading, whenever we try to identify opportunities for entries and exits, uh, one of the first things that we want to do is be able to determine the momentum or the direction that the momentum is pushing the currency pair that we're looking to trade. So if the momentum is moving higher or if the momentum is moving lower, we want to be able to determine that um, we're in it because that momentum is going to help us, not hurt us. And so understanding the direction of things is critical as we determine what, uh, uh, what way we should be trading. So we're going to start out the week here by looking at the various trends and where we sit in relationship to support or resistance. Now if you remember when we talk about using the simple trading method, abbreviate STM, simple trading method, one thing that we look at is the trend and in this case I'm just going to put on a 40 period simple moving average and look at the direction that it's going. Um, the second thing I'm going to look at is the uh, support or resistance levels. So for an uptrend, we want the trend to go up and we want to be sitting at support. If the trend is moving down, we want to be shorting it as it comes off of an area of resistance. So with that in mind, let's take a look at what's been going on with these pairs and just draw some basic trend lines and look at the moving averages and whatnot. Um, as you can see here, this is the Euro US dollar daily chart. And again, with the daily chart, we're really looking more for help in determining the direction that we should be trading the shorter term. So if everything is bearish on the daily chart, then we're going to feel stronger about trading it short on the hourly or the five minute or whatever time period we choose to be trading. So currently with the Euro US dollar you can see that the moving average here is is pointing lower and we're at an area of resistance. So if we were to take a possible entry here it would be in right below the lowest low of the last three. That's where we'd say okay it's time to enter in on a short trade. Now that's uh that's a pretty good setup. We don't know if it's going to happen so we don't make any decision to take a trade until after we get the confirmation and actually see the price action moving in that direction. Um let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar as you know has been in a pretty strong uptrend and here's a little bit of a channel moving average is going up where we're really not sitting at a support area which is what we'd want to be seeing in order to take a long trade. So right here we're kind of in the middle maybe losing in fact you can see over the past week how flat things have been by looking at those candles. The pound dollar a little bit of a, a triangle setup here. We do have a moving average that's going up, but we're pretty flat. We've got some pretty strong resistance. So in order to really feel like we've got strong momentum here, we're going to need to see it move above or below these channel lines here. If we can identify and see that, we're then going to be in a situation where we're um, trading that momentum either up or down. US Japanese yen, you can see how flat we are here. Overall, the trend is moving down. We've got the moment, the moving average pointing lower, prices below that. 
we've got um, a real sideways movement though. So we're gonna need to see a move out of that range in order to really feel comfortable with entering into that. US Swiss franc, kind of inversely correlated with uh, the US or Euro US dollar. And so as we see this, we're kind of sitting again at that area of support where we might identify as an area to get in. Um, and then finally the US CAD which is really kind of down in the lower range of its support area and the moving average is going down. So again, not setting up perfectly for us, but we certainly are uh, in a situation where we would look for some type of a, of a bounce up off of that, uh, that area there. And so take that information and begin to apply it to your shorter term trading, knowing the momentum that, where things are headed so that you can really um, feel confident that the trading and the movement is in the right direction. So with that, we'll wrap it up for today. Um, have a great uh, rest of the day. Practice identifying trends and support and resistance. And if you have questions, feel free to let us know. We'll get those questions answered for you as quickly as possible. So until tomorrow, have a fantastic day, and we'll talk to you soon.